Our next guest did just this, okay? Now they want to show you how to experience the unbelievably delicious flavors for yourself from your own garden. You know, I don't have a garden, but, but Chris is going to help me out with that. Yeah. So in their illustrated recipe book, The Green Witch's Guide to Magical Plants and Flowers, Chris Young and Susan Ottaviano unlock the secrets of what many would see as a typical garden to help transform lives with a little bit of practicality and a whole lot of magic. We like this. Nothing says yes. fresh like turning your homegrown ingredients into these culinary treats, right? So Chris and Susan, thank you so much for being We're here. We're so happy to be here yes, again. Thank, thank you. you. Susan, great to have you back. Glad that you brought your partner yes. in crime this time. Uh, now, just for, for the uninitiated who weren't around the first go around, tell us uh, about each of your roles in your book. Okay, I wrote it. Okay. And uh, came up with the spells and all the fun spells. things, all the witchcrafty stuff. And then Susan illustrated and he's the plant guru, and I'm the kitchen she's witch. The, she's the kitchen witch. She's the kitchen witch. And his shirt says man witch. Yeah, I, I noticed that. I was I like, I like, I like the I little play on words here. I love it. It's perfect. So, Chris, uh, yeah, you know, Dan has a beautiful, luscious garden because in, 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 he's a house. It's generous. In the suburbs. <laughs> uh, it's nice. nice. I've seen it. Uh, I have an apartment in the city, and I would like to be able to grow, at, at the very least, some herbs to, yeah. to use in my cooking. So... Is it practical to be able to grow yes. plants in, indoors? Yeah. And if so, what do you recommend? You need a sunny window okay. where you get six to eight hours of yeah. sun. Okay. You need really good soil. Unlike this pot, you want to have a pot that's like six to eight inches deep. This, this is was just, my pot. This is so, just to you know, This is decorative. The, this is the TV pot. <laughs> um, right. And uh, you want good drainage, so you want drainage holes in the bottom. Oh. Mm -hmm. And you want to always remember to snip your plants back. Like, see how this has a node right here with yes. little leaves? You'd huh. snip it there, you'd harvest this, and then this will grow back and be bushier. Oh. Okay, so let me ask you this. For those who, I know we got to talk more. When, for those who have outdoor gardens, right? Just he just basil. popped it right in his mouth. <laughs> when it begins to flower at the top, right? Is it? Are it's you, over. It's over. So it's just yank it out of the soil. Well, or you could, can it, you, you can set it outside on? for the bees, because the bees will go crazy for uh -huh. the... For the flowers, but once it's bloomed, you kind of want to keep trimming it, yeah. so it doesn't bloom. You mm -hmm. want to keep harvesting before it gets to the point of blooming. And if it did bloom, you can't. If it did it. bloom, this time so to start I can over. grow basil in my apartment. Yeah. This is great, uh, Susan. You are the recipe developer. Yes. So, okay, last time you were on, you made us a beautiful, luscious salad. Mm. Let's talk about some of the dishes that you brought today, because there's there, there's, there's quite a, a spread here. Yeah. Okay. Well, first of all, this time we brought our book because oh, it's actually yeah. it's out. It's yes, really it came out, out what last month. So we have yeah, yeah I'm just came out. This, a picture right? of gorgeous. like one of the salads that we're doing today. It goes with your whole vibe. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Um, here's the parsley. Okay, so we're doing a riff off this uh, parsley salad with the lovers arugula lusty. today. Oh, I like so this, this. is okay. a, um, a lovers lusty arugula salad right. that we're doing today. Right and I'm sure alley. we're gonna dive into this. And then we're, so we made a green goddess dip and use all uh, things that are kind of fresh and in season right now. Okay. This is some mint from my father's garden in Connecticut. Oh. Oh. Yeah, um, we Yay. have, um, mm. what else is in this? We have basil, avocado, um, a vegan yogurt, and then mm. we just make a crudite with all the fresh oh. vegetables. Oh, I you love a try it. Okay, yeah. let's try the dip while you, you wanna assemble the salad for Sure. Us. So this, um, it's, like I said, this Delicious. is in our book. Wow. Um, we're going to, um, the onions have been marinating. I'm gonna put, um, some fresh okay, pomegranates. This is arugula? Seed. So this is arugula instead of parsley. We've made a, um, a um, marinade with the onions. Okay. Mm. And then we're gonna shave some, this is a That's vegan parmesan. Mm -hmm. Vegan parmesan? Yes, because our book is all vegan. But oh, oh, is it? Okay, great. Look at that. That's and a nice block of parmesan gonna, right there. Yeah, it's nice. I like the vegan parmesan. That's the one I like. I, I think it's the best. Yeah. So this and is... And what's the magical property of yes. arugula? Oh, arugula yes. is for luck. luck. And, um... Uh, the oh, onions are for protection, and the pomegranates are for love and lust. <laughs> With the pomegranates? Yes. Okay, let me just buy, let me buy those. Leave them for the Holy Spirit. It's so early in the morning. <laughs> They're called love apples, the pomegranates. Love apples! Yes. That's so cute. They're and soon then to be sold out of my town. We have our, our um, I, we made a, we have a book signing uh, t tomorrow. tomorrow at Printed Matter Printed in New Matter. York City. And uh, we Avenue. made this strawberry vodka that I'd love you guys to try. Okay. That we marinated the strawberries. Strawberries are in our book. Yeah. And, um... What uh, do strawberries do? Strawberries are for love. Oh, for strawberries there's a lot, are of, there's a lot of love at this table today, yeah, give folks. Give me a gallon. <laughs> yeah, everything in here <laughs> is for love. Dan will take a shot from the jar. <laughs> <laughs> go, right. Dan. Go, Dan. There you right. go, Daniel. Okay, thanks. So this is strawberry vodka. So yes. how long you made this? So you you steeped the you just let the strawberries soak yes, in the vodka. Yes, and it's amazing how much color you get I from know. a simple syrup for two weeks two and weeks. a simple syrup on top. Simple syrup on top. Okay, hmm. down Cheers. the hatchet. 
Wow. Good That's morning. Good. You like it? <laughs> it, it, it's got I don't get to sing a vodka. I don't get to yeah, sing a vodka. It's yeah, it's totally in there. Like, yeah. Yeah. So is, does vodka wow, have a magical dangerous. property? Um, uh, vodka, all alcohol is used in a lot of love potions. It's a love filter. Purification. Loosens you yeah. up? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Release well. your ambitions. Yes, it does have magical power sometimes. <laughs> Makes friends. <laughs> I can't even. By the way, I just learned that mint. <laughs> can't You're you. right. The mint is a, um, a, you have to plant it on its own. Yeah, uh, because mint, it overtook my garden. It'll go crazy. Yeah. Mint, mint is made for pots for sure because yeah. it will spread like crazy. So many things I learned this year. Yes. Yeah, so <laughs> I want I want more of this green goddess sip. What do you have to tell us about the green goddess sip and the ingredients in here? Um, what is this doing for me? So it's mint, basil. What's that um, avocado, um, oh, the vegan yogurt, and um, oh, and I put some of these uh, garlic scapes. Um, yeah. Garlic scapes, this is from our friend Mitchell's Garden. Mm -hmm. These are just in season right now, and they're kind of a combination between. I've never heard um, of a green onion, a chive? Yes, it's between like a chive yeah, and it's onion very and, and garlic. And this is so a it's giving it a little bit of a, a blast. Now, those are fava beans, yeah. and you can use fava beans. I didn't use it, but I could do another riff with the fava beans where you use that in a dip as well. Oh, they wow. take a lot of work to kind of peel, but they're in are season right now. Are you doing right this now. like with your hand? How are you? Are you you can use a mortar and pestle. Oh that's oh that's real witchy. I, I that's imagine, real witchy, but I, I imagine use Susan a and Chris really like in the kitchen like <laughs> some it. incantations, <laughs> ripping a shot of the strawberry. <laughs> you got it. You've got right. it. Yeah. In a cauldron. Right? We're modern witches, so we still, I did use a food processor. Okay. There you go. Right. I, love, I love the peek behind the curtain. All right, tell everybody again about the book signing, when and where. Tomorrow at Printed Matter um, on 11th Avenue at 6 p.m. And you can find on our Instagram, it's two, the number two, Green Witches. And uh, that has all the information for the signing as well. Well, I enjoyed this. This was fun. Yeah, thank you this, both. I, and I love the book, and I'm very happy that thank you guys you so came much. back to visit us. Yes, thank anytime, you so much please. for having us. I learned yeah. a lot. I did learn a lot, seriously. And I'm we got to talk offline garden. about what happened to my cilantro. <laughs> <Awesome. laughs> I don't know. My cilantro flowered, and then it disappeared. We'll talk about it. Mm, oh, okay. very no. Upset. I don't know what happened.